Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are old here, thanks for coming back. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a jota. This jota, I have already made a tutorial on it before. And someone make a comment that you would like me to redesign this jota in Photoshop. So today I'm going to do something familiar or related to it. So let's get started. This is a form size then and the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring out my guideline so I'm going to view then select new guideline then I will enter 50% then Go back to new guideline, then enter 45%. Then you go back again to the same guideline, enter 55%. Then go back again. Then I'm, this time we enter 5%. Then I'll continue ninety five percent. Now I'm going to change it to horizontal now. Then I will enter five percent at the top then 95 percent at the bottom like this now i will use manual that line to drag it down like this all right so after this the next things I'm going to do now is to bring my rectangle then from the center guideline here you drag it to this point then Select it again, then you drag it from this angle down to this point again. Now, you have something like this. So, I will select this color. Then, on this one, I will select this color. Though I will use a background on them. Okay. Now the next thing to do. This is the front. Why this is the back? Okay. Now I will bring my file. Drag it. Then increase the size like this. Okay. Now go to filter blur, then select Gaussian blur 15.3%. 
it's okay then I will go back again to bring this one I will drag it in Photoshop then place it here drag it out all right then I will also go to Gunshan Blur to apply the same number now what I'm going to do here now I will select a blending mode so you can select any of, of your choice okay I'm going to use this one colored then after this I will also go back to my rectangle then I'll draw it to this line now I'm going to use this color here which is this then apply layer mask then go to your gradient overlay tools so now I will blend the top here like this okay now what I'm going to do is to bring the image then we do the size the color I'm using I pick the color from this material as the lady material I pick the color from it now I'm going to apply layer mask then to blend the edge here like this okay okay now I have something like this then what I will do next is to copy this ctrl C to copy then I'll come over here then I will paste it Ctrl V to paste I'm going to change the font here to adventure adventure of the old giants yeah all right then I will scale it out Like this then 
Ctrl J to duplicate. Then I'll drag it down. Then press T on your keyboard to select the test tool. Then Ctrl A to align. Then Ctrl V to copy the test. Then Ctrl V to paste. Then arrange it. I'll drag this one down. Then I'm going to alight all this one. Then group it. Then I will rename it front front page. Why this one? Ctrl G is going to be back page. Back page. All right. Then yes, now I do the line space. I will also do the same zero. Use your arrow key to arrange it. All right. Now I'm going to copy this test, Control J, then drag it down here. Then press T on your keyboard to select. The test two. Now I'm going to copy this bra. Then Control V to paste it. Now. I will change this font then to more next scripts then reduce the size. Now, also duplicate this one, Ctrl J, hold your Shift key, then you drag it so that it will be aligned properly. Then I'm going to copy the name, Ctrl C to copy, then I will now paste it. Then I'm going to change the font to Universal Serif. Yeah.
all right then i will also duplicate this then hold my shift key and drag it down then i will copy a test here sister then i will paste it here then copy the full name here and i will duplicate this one ctrl j then i will drag it down This one should be between here and select this one. Control V to paste. Ctrl J to copy and I'm taking it to this side then change the fonts Now increase it. All right, now that I have something like this, I will select the name, then I will group the name, and I will take it up. Then now I'm going to rename it Corpus name. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to get the copy the dates. Now, I'm going to bring this ornament here, decoration here. Then reduce the size. Like this.
okay then i will copy the name here control j i'll drag it up here then drag this one down here then what t on my keyboard then control a to highlight control v to paste Now I have something like this. Now I want to apply center alignment. What I will do now is to select this same one, then go to my right angle, which is this one, then I will select, then click on the center alignment mm -hmm. then i will also do the same thing to the name then apply center alignment all right so now I will hold my alt key then reduce the size like this then okay Then another right angle. I'm going to take it from here. I don't want it to start from the the last point here. So let it be over there. Then what I'm going to do now. Then I will select this color. Oh, let me see this color. This color is from the face of the woman. Then I'll hold my shift key. Then drag this one a little bit like this. Okay, now I will right click, then click on rasterize. Then I will take my lasso tool somewhere like this. Then okay. Then delete. Ctrl D to deselect. Now I'll copy this this one the test here control j to duplicate then i'll drag it up here then move this one down here then highlight it control v to paste the test you copy Ctrl-V Now, I'm going to reduce it like this Okay, now that I have something like this, but the next thing I will do now, I would like to apply shadow 
on the test so that the test will come out bold okay my bloody mode is normal then the size the opacity is 82 then the distance is 8 while the spread is 5 and the size is 21 all right then okay now what i will do now is to right click on this one then come to this place to copy layer style then i will come to the date here then i'll right click then paste the the layer style then also come to the name here then you do the same thing then continue all right control zero to bring it to the page now this is what i have here so now i'm going back to the back page now so this is where the redesign is going to take place especially what the guy needed is here so now i'm going to to the back page now then The first thing to do now, I'm going to bring this image. Then I will reduce the size. this is okay then I will rotate it all right it's okay like this now what I'm going to do next I'm going to apply layer mask here. Go to your gradient tool, then you drag it up like this to fade the edges here. Then, okay. After this, I'm going to bring a rent angle then draw it from this place then down to somewhere like this now then change the color I'm going to select the specific color I use in that place. I think I use a color like this. I think this color will be I think this color will be better. Okay. Let's use this color. Now, 
then I'm going to rasterize then now that I have rasterized I'm going to duplicate and uh, sorry I'm going to pick my lasso tool here then from the edges here I'm going to click then click here then now I'm going to delete this part then control D to deselect now that I have this what I'm going to do now is to draw a red angle like this okay then I'm going to rotate it before then I'm going to drag it like this then rotate it then I'll take it up here then I'll rotate it I'll make sure that it's straight okay now that I have this then I'll also control J to duplicate it something like this Control J again now I have something like this now in three places now what I'll do is to select this tree then merge it as one okay now i'm going to hold down my control key then select the right angle then i'm going to pick my eraser tool then increase it then and erase the area over there then now turn it off then control D to deselect I have this so this is how I made it now what I'm going to do then is to duplicate this one control J Ctrl J then right click then click on flip vertical then hold down your shift key then you drag it down make sure it's in line now that is like this then right click again then and flip horizontal then you have something like this now what i'm going to do again then this image i'm going to duplicate it then 
and take this one up then on this one i'm going to pick my color picker then i'm going to apply this color here which is this color now i have something like this now the main background i'm going to change the color to something darker like this okay now i have this one and i have this one so what i'm going to do now is to select this one and the upper one select the two of them then ctrl e to combine them then now that i've combined them then i'm going to rasterize this one then go to great clipping mask then when you turn this one off then you will see how it come out then i'm going to turn this one on so that the image will appear around here so what i'm going to do now i'm going to remove the head here so now to do that then i'm going to convert this one to smart object then pick my lasso tool and i'm going to click somewhere here like this like this and uh, i'm going to delete okay rasterize then delete then ctrl d that is all so that is how i did it so now i have something like this okay so the last things i'm going to do now is to bring ellipse to then hold down your sh shift key to draw a perfect line like this then i'm going to remove the c color to zero percent Twenty-one, twenty-three percent okay now then go to your gradient overlay okay now i will use this color then Come back to your fill color, then remove your fill color. Now this one apply to the stroke. Then again, I will go back or I will duplicate this one. Ctrl J to duplicate this one, then reduce the size a bit, hold down your Alt key, then OK. Now you go back to your fill color, then apply the fill color.
Then we remove the line color of this one. Right click, then clear the hair style. Now I have something like this. I will select the boat, then reduce the size like this. It's okay. Then I'm, I will copy this text here, Ctrl C, then select my text tool, then Ctrl V. All right. Now I'm, I'm going to change the color to the color I'm using over here. Then okay. Now select the both of them, the right angle and the test tool. Then you come to your alignment click then to apply center and horizontal alignment so now you have something like this this is how a design was made so <laughs> thank you very much for watching please if you are here to subscribe kindly click on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my content thank you